I'm Mike Coyle, and you're watching Inside Exploration. Today I'm here in the field with Glenn Kosner, CEO of RJK Explorations, listed on the TSX Venture under rjx.a. Glenn, thanks for having me out to the site today. Thanks for coming, Mike. So you've done a lot of work since the last time we talked. I mean, you've amassed a very large land package. Yes, we have. You made a few <coughs> diamond discoveries. Yep. Yep. And that all started with early 2020 drilling on the Conclaim. So talk to us about what you've seen on the Conclaim and then we'll slide over to what we're doing here today. Yeah, actually we made the first discovery on the uh, Paradise Pond this area uh, early in 2019. Mm -hmm. And, uh, <clears throat> and uh, we, fr since then we have acquired a large land position in the Cobalt Camp uh, through various option agreements with a couple of different uh, junior companies as well as uh, acquiring additional lands by, by staking. Mm -hmm. So now we have a large position here that uh, we feel comfortable with, and uh, and uh, and if we have any other targets that uh, need looking at, we're, we we have them covered. How many targets do you have in your uh, in your uh, land claims right now? There's a number of them. There's you can, you can pick a number, of, you know, there's thirty uh, or so. So you're working with a lot of potential yeah, then. Yeah. So there's there's a lot of targets to look at. Yeah, we've drilled a couple that weren't successful, but we've we've made two major camera light discoveries in the last year and a half. Okay, so back to con, seven micro diamonds yep. in a 250 kilogram sample, yeah, correct? About that, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's there are seven in that. Um, going back to parity, we had a 50 pound sample that we sent out to CFM Labs in, in Kelowna. It came back with very excellent uh, kimberlite indicator chemistry, mm -hmm. and it also came back with 18 micro micro diamonds in it. When you say good kimberlite or good uh, indicator mineral chemistry yeah explain that a little bit because a lot of people aren't familiar with what indicator means minerals mean to diamond exploration well, it's, it's when there there's various elements in the in the in the kimberlite itself that suggests that it could have come from uh, uh, deep sourced um, material mm -hmm. uh, several hundred kilometers or, or deeper which is the kimberlite zone uh, for collecting diamonds and we're seeing that in that in that particular sample um, as well as, so it suggests that there should be diamonds, that Kimberley should be diamondiferous, which it was. So you're drilling a continuation of what you found in 2019 That's right. here this yes, year. We are. We've, we've uh, conducted 16 uh, drill holes now, some vertical, some on an angle, over a strike length of about one kilometer by 400 meters wide. And uh, we've, we've had success, success in every hole. So you've had success and it seems to be a flat lying structure, but yes, not very thick. What reasoning would there be for this to that's, kind of pancake out like that? Kind of, that's kind of a tough, tough one. We haven't really figured that out yet. Uh, although Peter Hubachek, our project manager, suggests that this Kimberlite may have been erupted under the last ice age. Interesting. So we have a flat lying sill, unconformably laying on top of a granitic body varying in thicknesses from a meter or two to 25, 27 meters. Thick. So you've done a number of drill testing on this and you yeah. kind of know where it is. Yeah. And today we're out here, we've yes, got we the excavator, we're doing some bulk sampling. Um, talk to us about where we are and how far down the Kimberlite is and what you're seeing so far. Yeah, this, uh, this hole, uh, there was only a couple of meters of, uh, of overburden before we entered this, the Kimberlite in the diamond drilling. So what we're doing here today is we're going to scrape off the overburden and collect a sample, a uh, two or three ton sample of kimberlite to uh, take out for processing. And how many of these pits are you going to be doing over the next few I, weeks? I think here? We, we've got three sites picked now, which will probably uh, give us about five tons of material. That's good, and that's all going to go to Charles Fipke's lab? Uh, not necessarily. We're, go we're going to probably make a heavy mineral concentrate out of it and then send that to, uh, to CFM. So your team's done a lot of research on the Nipissing Diamond and yeah. you found some really interesting facts. You just released a yes. video about some financiers' brothers that came up here staking claims not long after Tiffany Diamond Company came up and did some exploration of their own. Now, how close do you think you are to finding or uncovering the source of the Nipissing Diamond given what you've well, seen in the last year? From all the research that the boys have done and, and we have done and what we've seen so far, in my opinion, I'm 100% certain that that Nipissing Diamond came from this property. That's a bold more, statement, Glenn. More, more particularly, um, the old uh, trench that was found by the, uh, by the Bishop family that was located on the wagon road that came from Paradise Bay up to Cobalt in 1905 mm -hmm. era, and, uh, and the creek that drains Parity Pond into Goodwin Lake. 
In my opinion, the diamond would have been found in either one of those locations. Um, the creek is very important because it cuts through the overburden and also cuts through the Kimberlite sill mm -hmm. as it makes its way down to Goodwin Lake. And in the old days, prospectors always prospected the creeks first, panning them and that sort of thing. So mm -hmm. there's a good chance it would have been picked up there. Have you gone back to the creek and done any exploration efforts of your own? We have. We've taken a few samples and uh, the Bishop family has, has you know, uh, made concentrates out of them and uh, looked at them and, and uh, they see all kinds of indicator minerals and, and that sort of thing. Yeah. It takes a little time, but um, you know, if these next few holes come in, um, the tonnage factor will be there for a deposit. It's, the next step is getting the grade. On that point, what kind of tonnage are you looking at right now? Well, you can, we have a, a very large conductance, EM conductance anomaly, which we're currently drilling now. Uh, we've only tested about, oh, well, maybe a little better than half of it. Mm -hmm. And every hole we put it within that conductance anomaly has intersected Kimberley. So, you know, it could be tens and tens of millions of tons. Excellent. Well, I look forward to catching up with you again. Next time we'll uh, get you back out in yeah. the field when we got a little more to report on. And thanks a right. lot, man. Yeah. Thank you.